again. So you watch as they get launched sideways, the boat wants to turn down. Uh, you know, the jib luff, see it luff right there? So the skipper, see how he doesn't turn down very much when that happens? In this cycle with the side swell, there's gonna be a time where the jib luffs where you do not turn down as much, you don't refill it. Because what happens is as soon as that swell goes away, you're gonna get a lift again, All right? You're gonna get, as soon as you get off the swell, oh, this is the best wind of the day right here. Yeah, leech of the jib in the spreader, windward sheet on a couple inches, mains tight. Oh, look at her bear off. Yeah, 7416, Anton. Quiet, full trap. Race five, gonna jibe around the gate here. Yeah, it holds the new tack right at the forestay, so when you push the pull out, it fills. Bam, you can't over-rotate the kite. You don't let that new guy go past the forestay. Maybe for a second, but... You've got to have that edge of the spinnaker exposed to the wind. Otherwise, it just falls behind the main. Good job, dude. Look at that. I should take a picture of this and send it to him. I am. So that's going to help him a lot. He's got a great throw out in the regatta. <clears throat> His worst race was like a 20th or something. So he just turned that 20th into two 10 and a halves. and he throws out his whatever he got the first race today. It depends on what he got. Wow, Morgan Pickney, 5409. I mean, it looks like Bemis is his to lose right now. I mean, he is just killing it. Owen Fretwell, yeah! How rad is he's having an awesome day. Owen Fretwell and the guy that has the most fun in the world, Efe. Efe Dorman, Derman, he is just a character. He fell in the water yesterday, it was so funny. And he was just laughing about it. Here, Kelly Holtis is in the hunt. Don't know about 9006. Okay, so the spinnaker has to rotate to windward. Yep, perfect. Yeah, this is fun. Race three on Sunday. Five to eight knots. U flags up. Again, this fleet can be a big ego hit for younger sailors, and you have to remind yourself that there are, we could go out against a bunch of people that stink <laughs> and get a trophy and feel good about ourselves, or we could go against people that are real sailors and uh, envision the fact that it's going to take us at least a year before we really feel like we can consistently finish in maybe the top 15 to 20, because there's no one there's only three boats who have been in the top 10 every race and only, I think every single other boat has a top 15. That's something out either 15th or worse. So this, that's just a testament to the skill. Okay, here we go. just so much learning to do. I know these videos go on and on. I don't expect you guys to watch all of them. I just do it for my own entertainment too. Um, but hopefully it helps you. And uh, you flag again. <laughs> Look at my girls up there. <laughs> we got our Sabbath sailors. Um, oh, don't go over. Uh-oh, they are 
Jeep trouble. <laughs> okay. Nice. <laughs> Doing your first parry and you're like, you have all these champs around you and you're just. Pull it off. A little scary for a little bit. starboard really sailing the boat flat is easy easier because you're going into the swells that was quite a, a choppy start i was i'm really surprised by that just initial chop coming off the line and the leeches of the jibs are not outside the spreader that's the guy winning the regatta there look how snug the main is red spray top this is how snug the main is all the time just little eases and trims I think it's when you're going up the swell, you give a little ease because the boat slows down. You just give a little ease. And then at the top of the swell, when the sails are luffing, you can pull the main in. Wow, they are working it hard there. It takes a lot of practice. I don't know if you can watch the crew on that boat, but she is all over the place. And you see how low they are trying to get their head out of the way of the skipper. Okay, it looks like a header coming. I wouldn't be surprised if we see people back in here pretty soon. Cosé is just doing really great here. Look at this. I mean, these are the leaders over here. Cosé is right here. I'm going to say he's only six, seven boat lengths behind them, but I think he's doing quite well. 9360. The sail is really well. patient here. Go over here next to these guys. You see Kelly Holtman. You know he's good. Either go past them, 10 boat lengths, or go underneath them and then just try to steer the boat with the crew telling you you're higher or lower than Kelly. You go one degree lower than Kelly at times and you're going to come out at the windward mark probably pretty darn good. Yeah? Go 10 boat lengths past them. Just cross the guy who's second in the regard. This is Kosei's first parry, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Maybe he's done one somewhere along the way. But these boats are just like big Sabots or big Opties. They're slow, square, underpowered. So Opti, his Opti training is good. Oh, dude. There's Harrison crossing him. So Harrison's doing pretty well. If I was Kosei, I would just go all the way left. He's about to cross the leader of the regatta. That's a bad sign, though. That must mean the right's coming in. <laughs> Let's see what happens. This might be the race. This might be the race where everybody has a race out of the top ten in the fleet. Okay, Kose. Yeah, dude. Very good. Taylor looks like one of, you know, she looks very much like the top crews out in, the, in this fleet. I mean, she has just got her body movement really good. They just had one of their best races. See, this is why I probably would have just gone, I would have just overstood. <laughs> Look where the mark is. See it through there? I would have just overstood. <laughs> I'm going to stay on man. But you're with the top two boats in the regatta. So I'm happy. See what happened? Theme of the weekend. See the swells? So we got to get out here and practice and swells. 
and it does look like 9050 has actually worked the left and just was patient and the left is starting to, to come back to be a little bit better than it was but swells 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 practice a lot of them really late rolls. They get the boat to turn itself onto the other tack, which is very little. They, they just let the rudder pull away from them as they keep the main in. Get the boat on the other tack and roll just before it's on the other tack. So Kelly, is he going to cross? Wow, dude. Wow. He did the right thing there. He did the right thing. He crossed both starboard tackers and he did a wussy tack, a non-roll tack, because you don't want to roll and end up having your mast hit the boat. Oh boy, Morgan. Depends on if that boat was his friend. There we go. This is just incredibly tight. Race six, first run. Good job. So what you're gonna look for, see if there's anything different here. I know you're in a little bit of a pickle spot with a lot of fast people. So that's what happened is, is you were in sixth and seventh in the first race, the second race. And the reason why you feel slow is because everybody in the top 10 is fast down you're gonna probably be a tiny bit slower than them and you just can't try to work it too hard. You gotta read the other boats and you got to try to not let people get away from you. If they start to get away from you, you're probably heading up a tiny bit, regaining speed and then trying to soak again. That's the big thing we gotta work on is how do we soak low? but still maintain pressure. I think you look pretty good. I think everything looks pretty good. You don't want to heal too much to lured because you're creating weather helm when you heal too much more than that to lured. bit stronger today and right now I actually see one trapper out there I gotta assume that's Wyatt <laughs> that is Anton and Wyatt hard ride over here they're pretty light oh god darn it sorry I wasn't videoing I would say this is a starboard lift so we actually might see a jive coming out of here pretty soon especially since there's a gap here 9006 I have a feeling he's close to winning the regatta too. I don't know the results, but my goodness, this is pretty good. Pretty good stuff. Look at that. 
B Fleet Sabin Sailor here is going to be ahead of a few boats. It's great. These Sabin Sailors come out here and just spend all day out here. They don't even know they're improving. Just through uh, hardwiring, their body just gets hardwired to figure out how to sail the boat by feel over time. not got much video of jiving but the key is getting the new guy in the right spot so that's going to be the starboard clue here he lets his go all the way to the jive knot look how full that thing stays so those guys look like they let it go all the way to the jive knot i stop the new guy before it gets past the headstead i kind of get it right at the head that's what we're working on. Here we go. Guy back. Yeah. Anton's really good at flying the kite. See how he trims it to fill it and then he lets it out. A little over trimmed on the kite right here though. See that's the mistake people make is they hold the kite way in. And they don't ease it out. Now he's got to ease, 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 ease. Ease, ease. There you go. This is cool. Jose in the same picture frame as the guy who's winning the regatta. And so I have a feeling the pin end was favored. I mean, I see tons of good sailors over here. Sophia Devlin, 7787. Jacob Posner, 1125. I mean, these are all good sailors. There's the guy, 9050, good sailor, 12383, three, good sailor. A couple of these folks I don't know. There's Ben. I think Ben had a good start, 7420. They look good. Okay, Kosei's got a lane. He should just be patient. Just speed test against this boat. All you're trying to do is go the same speed and angle as this boat and don't look too much. Just When we speed test, we build our confidence to where we don't have to look at other boats. And to be honest, you gotta speed test a ton in these boats. So you speed test and over time you build your confidence so you know what angle to the wind to sail and you don't have to look over your shoulder constantly. You just get a feel for it. So you go into speed test mode. Oh, keep going. Let's see if he does what I talked to him about. I said, when really good sailors tack, go another 10 boat lengths before you tack. See, he didn't go as far as I would. If you're not overstanding, dude, you just, you're not going right today. <laughs> it's crazy. So, <laughs> and it's not like we're winning the regatta. I would have given Sophia more room than that. He doesn't know it, but she's in the top five or six in the regatta maybe, or she has been in many Perry. I don't know how. Shoot, the scores are all over the place. Who knows what place anybody can. Well, that's a decent gap, but I still wouldn't want her anywhere near my leeward side in big swells. I see yellow buoy over there. Uh, this might be a trapezoid course. No, it's not. Or they, they can't do a race after this, can they? This is 245. Man, here 
Harrison's got the upwind legs figured out, the black and yellow kite. And then downwind, lean and you know, not enough time practicing together. And it's hard to sail in the top 10 of the Perry with the spinnaker because they're all really good. See how low he can go? The spinnaker looks solid. And then you look at some of the other spinnakers and they're kind of wallowing around over here and they're higher. So that's, that's what I'm talking about. Boats in the top 10 can go lower and keep their spinnakers low. Practice, practice, practice. You gotta practice setting onto a reach. So the trapezoid course is one they use at a lot of big 420 regattas. And especially as we get over, you know, 10, 12 knots, they use it a lot. It makes it so you don't have as many jibes when it's windy, especially. You have less jibes and you're not going dead downwind through a fleet that's coming back upwind, like a 60 boat fleet. You're going dead downwind in big breeze. So this is gonna go onto a reach and go over to the trapezoid course. That was a great set. He kind of went low for a second. Should be about, uh, the angle of the reach for them from the wind is about 100 degrees, 110 degrees. The angle between that mark the inside angle between that mark and that mark is 60 or 70 degrees. So that looks like a little bit of a high reach actually. That looks about where the angle, the inside angle of this is about 80 degrees. I don't know if that makes sense or not. Essentially from the head to wind direction, they're sailing about degrees to the wind, maybe 95 degrees, so it's almost a dead beam reach. Which is fine. It looks like not a bad reach. And we have to practice reaching. Too many windward lured courses and you sailing it. And uh, gotta learn how to reach. It's the best point of sail, man. They look like they're all high of the mark, which is normal. They're just protecting by staying high. And the crews are out. That's super easy sailing. The crew's trying to, whoever can trim the loosest without luffing goes the fastest. In the big puffs, the crew will step back a little bit. And you gotta be higher. See how this guy's bending his knees a lot. He might as well just, well now he's not. But if you're bending your knees a lot, really a lot, just raise yourself up on the trap. Yeah, in the swells, I would just do what 7419 is. I'd have both onto the windward side, just reaching like a normal boat. reach much. So practice reaching a lot. 90 degree reaches, 100 degree reaches, you know, you go just below a beam reach. The guy is in the cleat, the guy is, so they had that prepped really well. All he had to do was pull it back and throw it in there really quickly.
probably the first time these ladies, we just worked on reaching the first time on Wednesday. Yeah, she's holding both the guy and the sheet on a beam reach. Yeah, look at that. She should have it through the guy hook, but who cares? Doesn't really need it. Isn't that awesome? Then after they jive, it looks like a good reach. The reach to the finish looks really good. I don't know the course exactly. I think they go around the orange one to the finish. Or no, they just go straight to the finish now. 